I'd like to tell you about an example of a resource which uh, we've encountered in the last uh, 150 years has in fact met a sad end in, the in terms of being able to sustain our exploitation of it. And that is COD. And there is a wonderful book written by Mark Kalansky about the history of cod fishing. So it's a simple book, title, and the author is Kalansky. Now this might not have been something that you sought out in a bookstore because you'd think, mm, cod? Well, all I care about cod is uh, battering it up and eating with a portion of chips. But for years, it was an, a very important pro source of protein in Western Europe and other parts of the world. It was heavily overfished to the point where the fisheries off the Grand Banks collapsed. There were no more cod to be had within an economically viable kind of way of exploiting them. And the reason there were no more to be had was because, fundamentally, the rate of depletion of the stock exceeded the rate of replenishment, fish couldn't grow to an old enough age to reproduce, and the cod stocks disappeared. There was a... It, this wasn't a blind rush to destroy the stock. And in fact, there were many inquiries. For example, the Huxley Inquiry in uh, the United Kingdom in uh, the 19th century, which looked at the problem of fishing, not only cod, but also the herring, which occur around the coast of Britain and was a major food source for the United Kingdom. What Huxley originally came out with was every technical improvement that's been introduced into the fishing fleets, such as transitioning from sail to steam, from nets that grew steadily larger uh, winch-driven uh, uh, nets that you could bring in with heavier and heavier loads. He pointed out, or his team pointed out, that every technical improvement that had been put in place led to increases in the catches. So his conclusion was, technical improvement, no matter what you did, increase in catch, therefore, and this was the mistake, therefore the stock is infinite. There was nothing you could do to damage the supply of fish. Well, that proved sadly to be an error. All that had happened was the rate of depletion had not yet achieved the point of the tipping point, the tipping point where the stock could no longer uh, reproduce sustainably. So renewable, there are lots of renewable uh, materials that we exploit and we keep bouncing up against a crisis in terms of the rate of depletion versus the rate of replenishment. You might think, that f trees, forestry, is the ultimate renewable resource. But there are plenty of ways that you can cut down more trees than they can reproduce. After all, for many trees, you're talking about considerable lifetimes, maybe 10, 20, 50, 100 years. So if you start knocking those trees down and using them as a resource faster than they can reproduce and grow to maturity, then you're also executing a campaign longer term, but similar perhaps, to the uh, destruction of the cod fisheries.